Have you been wondering why you haven't been improving, you keep losing your games this season? Well, you're watching the right video. I'm really excited because I gotta talk about this. Your settings play a huge part in your gameplay, and it's why we wanted to show you guys the best settings for all PC and console input. So to make sure that you're maximum potential while you're playing, you gotta start using the best settings possible. I'm the captain of the Bunch of Crunch Army. I'm back again today, and I'm gonna show you the best controller and KBM settings, the optimal performance and FPS settings, and even little things like your colorblind and item slot settings that's gonna impact your gameplay tremendously. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Season seven broke the trend of the pump being vaulted every other season and has introduced a brand new meta to us. Now that we have the pump, tack, and lever shotguns in the game, accuracy is very important. You need to make sure, guys, that you never miss your shots. And always this season, man, you want to have a sensitivity that gives you the best accuracy and gives you a balance between your building and editing so that you can just push and fight to your best ability. You need to be able to peace control your opponents, man, but also have a lower sensitivity that can absolutely shred through their HP. So to be more specific, all right, find your favorite controller player and copy their setting. And this way, you're going to already have some of the most optimal settings to play in Season 7. And you can just adjust them for your preference. So along with this, you know, our best settings would definitely be something like right in the middle, but not exactly. Definitely just have to get used to the field for our settings. And so you gotta see which ones really help you play the best. And so these settings are tailored for players who use the linear mode, which is what 80% of controller pros and players in general use now. You know, when it comes to getting better at Fortnite, there's a world of information out there, but not everything always gives you structure. And so if you want pro one-on-one -on -one coaching guys from like the top pros, you gotta go to proguys.com and sign up today using code RANKUP2021 for 20% off. That's absolutely crazy. They are designed to train you in every area, and according to your pace, I highly recommend this. All right, next you should turn on advanced settings. These are gonna help you narrow your sensitivity down to the exact percentage. Change your look vertical and horizontal speed to around 40% and keep every other setting off in the look sensitivity section as it tampers with your accuracy. All right, ADS settings, which means aim down sights, helps with AR, SMG, and scope weapon aim, all right? Keep the look horizontal and vertical speed around 10% as lower ADS sensitivity rewards huge damage. Never use any boost, I know I say this all the time, as they just add acceleration when aiming and tremendously impacts how you aim. All right, so right after there is look dampening time, which you should also have remain at zero. Keep your look input curve on linear since every single setting corresponds perfectly with linear mode. And always keep your aim assist strength on 100%. Anything under this, and you're gonna have a huge disadvantage fighting against everybody else. Finally, make sure to keep your dead zones on 10 for both joysticks. All right. Your controller binds are an important factor on how quickly and efficiently you can play. So choosing the perfect binds is extremely simple on a controller, and even the default settings are optimal for competitive gameplay. Paddles, guys, whoo, paddles, are definitely the most useful mod on a controller, as they give you four extra buttons that you can press, and allows all your fingers to be used at the same time. However, I will say this, something that nobody knows when starting out on a controller is using the claw grip. A claw grip allows you to press all of your buttons without having to take your thumbs off the joysticks. A claw grip requires you to use your pointer finger to press your action buttons and use your middle and ring finger for the bumpers and triggers. The claw grip will help you in any game, right? On any controller at no extra cost, just make sure that you switch to the claw as soon as you can as your mechanics is gonna become much smoother and fixed stiffness. All right, so for your exact controller binds, here we go. We recommend finding a pro player settings videos and just copying them. Your binds will be really good no matter what, so just make sure that they feel comfortable with the claw grip. For example, all right, check out day settings or even use the pro settings website to find other controller keybinds. Okay, so like we previously mentioned, the meta this season requires you to have really good aim and crosshair placement in order to win all of your fights. So to have consistent aim and always headshot your opponents, all right, you need to be playing on the low to medium sensitivity. We really recommend guys 6.5% X and Y sensitivity to newer players and 8% to players who are really used to playing on high sensitivities. Both of these senses are optimal for competitive gameplay and will allow you to have amazing peace control and top terrain. Just make sure that your mouse is using 800 DPI, and if you cannot adjust it, just simply calculate your sensitivity, all right? Along with your X and Y axis sensitivities, all right, your ADS scope and targeting sense should be in the low range. We really recommend that you use 35% to 45% for both your scope and targeting senses. 
This will allow you to track your opponents with your AR perfectly. That's gonna give you enough time to flick and switch your target. But you guys me, okay guys, time for the question of the day. Today we wanna know what you think is the most useful setting introduced into Fortnite. You know, whether it's the new preferred item slots or even things like auto pickup. Let us know in the comments down below and we're definitely gonna check it out. All right guys, back to the video. All right, so to have the perfect keybinds, use keybinds that allow you to move around and build at the same time. This allows your mechanical steel to be at its fullest and make sure that you'll never have to lose momentum when engaging in a build heavy fight. So the reason most pros put their wall and ramp on their mouse button is because this allows you to move around and jump, crouch, pull out your pickaxe while building. And so depending on your edit bind, put your floor to C or F and your cone to left shift. Along with this, changing your edit bind to E or F is definitely the move as they are just easily reachable. Put your trap bind to T as it is just the closest bind right next to your rebo. Along with this guys, change your ping bind to X as you're still going to have an extra bind left to use. Your weapon key binds don't really matter too much, but we do recommend switching some key binds with keys that are still free. For example, like you can keep the first three slots at one, two, and three. Just make sure that you use V and G for your last two slots. And this is gonna ensure that you don't have to stretch your fingers for too far when trying to reach your last slots. All right, so a great way to utilize the scroll wheel for something other than your weapon slots is using it to reset your builds. So scroll wheel reset is the fastest way to reset your builds and allows you to reset multiple builds by just scrolling down. So to use scroll wheel reset, use your secondary key bind for your building edit and change it to scroll wheel down or up. For now, all right, we recommend scroll wheel down. After, just change your secondary bind for reset building edit to scroll wheel down as well. And that's really it. So along with resetting your builds, like you can also use scroll wheel up as your interact pickup bind. This will allow you to 50-50 chest and always get the gun first since it's just much faster than spamming the E button. Don't worry controller players, I'm with you on this. You could also get a scroll wheel for a very cheap amount. Many companies have actually started selling a scroll wheel add-on for controllers for a very cheap price. So if you want a scroll wheel reset and pick up, we recommend investing in one for sure. So after setting up your scroll wheel reset, you should also make sure that you're using the new preferred item slot setting. This setting allows you to automatically sort your guns in the right slots when you pick them up. Simply just head on over to the settings tab and select each weapon category for each slot. All right, so the last but the very important setting that you can use for both controller and KBM is edit on release. Edit on release is very useful to becoming faster at editing since it only takes a single click rather than just having to confirm your edit. So we really recommend getting used to this setting as it's definitely gonna make you much quicker at editing and make the game so much more fun. All right, so now that we're done with all the input and mechanical settings, let's head on over to the FPS settings. Your FPS and input delay has an insane impact on how well you're playing. And so we're really sorry console players as there is basically nothing that we can do to improve our FPS other than just spending money on a next gen console. However, there's a ton of ways that you can improve your FPS on PC. So to start off, switch your rendering mode to performance mode. This is definitely gonna decrease the textures of your game slightly, but will make your input delay and FPS just so much better. You know, many players even say that their arena games start to feel like creative after switching, and it's why you need to switch as soon as possible. Performance mode automatically switches your graphic settings to the optimal settings and can boost your FPS 150 plus frames depending on your PC specs. Just make sure that you have VSync off, everything on low, with the exception of your view distance. For a more advanced FPS guide, all right, check out one of our previous videos. All right, your colorblind settings actually have a way bigger impact on your gameplay than you ever may think. <laughs> there are four different colorblind modes, all right? Deuteronope, Protonope, Tritonope, and no colorblind mode. Each one is very different from each other depending on your monitor brightness, but we have the perfect setting that's gonna help you guys a lot. All right, so start off with going into your Fortnite video settings and heading to the colorblind mode section. Use Tri Note 10 and change the brightness to 50%. You're already gonna notice the huge difference in the color and storm transparency. Everything is gonna be much easier to see and the color is gonna be more pleasant and brighter. However, this isn't the only thing you need to do. To have the best colorblind settings, you need to alter your PC settings in your NVIDIA control panel. This only works if you have NVIDIA GPU, so go into the control panel and head to the display settings and click the adjust desktop color settings. 
All right, so from here, locate the digital vibrant slider at the bottom and change it to 85%. And this is gonna make it much easier for you guys to see through the storm and your game is gonna look really good. For all you console players and AMD users, we recommend changing your monitor settings. Try finding a setting that has something to do with your color vibrance and brightness and turn it up. Try watching videos of players using this colorblind setting and just try to replicate it on your own monitor. So we really hope you guys enjoy these insane settings, man. It's definitely gonna help you master the fundamentals of Fortnite and help you consistently win all your fights. So make sure to adhere to all of these settings and adjust them to your preference. Hey, if you guys liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you. Keep going. Do not give up. Don't pay attention to the negativity. Go after your dreams. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.